Could this be the ultimate flight sim PC? Well, we've worked alongside scan.co.uk to design what we think is the best Microsoft flight simulator build to date, and we're gonna build it and test it in today's video. So what have we got? We've gone for a fractal torrent case, absolutely awesome. And inside that, we're gonna put the Asus X670 motherboard. And of course, we had to go for AMD's latest processor, the 7950X 3D with a 3D cache, which is gonna be mega. It's gonna increase performance for gaming, absolutely rapid CPU. We've also loaded this with the 4090 GPU from Asus, 32 gigabytes of Corsair, 6,000 megahertz RAM, and a thousand watt power supply with water cooling for the CPU as well. And for memory, we've gone for two NVMe drives from Corsair, two terabytes each. So this is gonna give us plenty of space for the Microsoft Flight Sim and the add-ons. And we also plan to use this as a bit of an editing PC as well. So we got a little bit of extra space for all the video files we're gonna need. Right, let's get cracking. So, fractal case. This case is massive. It's got the standoffs for the motherboard built into the case as, you, as with most cases these days. Right, here we go. Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. Mate, these have been out of stock for ages. <laughs> right, so we want to be really careful with this. This is not the one you want to drop. Mother one, mate, this is mega. This. Looking correctly. I've had Corsair water coolers before. Uh, always been really impressed with them. Um, and obviously we need plenty of cooling. We're going to be putting Microsoft Flight Simulator um, pretty much at full graphics for the videos we're going to be making. So. Yeah, we needed to make sure we had a pretty beefy cooler. And this was what the guys at Scan recommended. So we've ended up putting the water cooling intake fans on the front of the case. And we've also had to remove the fans from the bottom of the case as well, because they wouldn't fit in with this massive CPU cooler that we've got. So what we're gonna do now, uh, while we've got access to the motherboard, we're gonna get the M2 drives in, uh, the RAM, and start cabling up the motherboard before we put the GPU in. 1000 watt power supply going in from Corsair. Keep everything uh, running smoothly. Looking for the best way to run the cables now. One thing that's awesome about this case is there's tons of routing for cabling. Uh, so you can do a really good job on your cable management as well. Right, GPU time. Right, uh, GPU going in. Uh, as I say, we went for the 1490 on this build. Big, it's heavy, it's chunky like monkey. Let's go. Man, I love the front of this case. So. Right, so it's been about two months since we built this PC and straight off the bat, I just want to say this PC is an absolute beast, guys. We're putting it through absolutely crazy settings, settings that you'd never fly with in Microsoft Flight Sim. We're on the ground here at Heathrow. Uh, that's our aircraft there. You can see we've got all these British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, Cathay Pacific. That's all being injected into the sim. And those things absolutely hammer your FPS, guys. And right now, with all of that going on, we're getting 65 FPS in the sim. So we'll have a quick look at our settings. Obviously, we're running a 4K display. Uh, NVIDIA Super Sampling is on. If you don't know what that is, it basically generates frames for you um, in between uh, the frames coming out of the sim, which gives you more frames per second. DLSS, obviously on quality. VSync, we've got set to on. We're running DirectX 12, which is the beta version, obviously. Everything, as you can see, is just on ultra, guys. Uh, level of detail, radius, max. As you can see, ultra, ultra, ultra on everything. And as we say, with the traffic, being injected into it as well, all moving around. That really does hammer your frame rates. I mean, we can switch that off just for a quick comparison. So at the moment, we're getting 66 frames a second with that on. If we stop that, confirm, and come out, look at that, 130 FPS straight away. So you can see how much those AI models hammer it. Let's just go Storm, shall we, which is gonna be absolutely disgusting. 
and uh, even with all that cloud, 130 FPS, not bothered. Right, we'll try overcast as well, just to uh, give us a bit more visibility. And let's just get nice and high and just show you guys Heathrow. So we're bringing in the whole scenery here, 140 FPS, it's not bothered guys. There's a whole of Heathrow and how about for one final test, I've got the whole of Heathrow on, and let's whack all this traffic in. And there we go, you can see pretty much a full airport of aircraft, even more loading in at the moment down at Terminal 5. Frame rate's dropping, of course, I mean you're running all of these models, and um, we've got that on max settings as well, and it's only dropped to 70 FPS. Guys, if you want to get hold of your own PC, the perfect flight sim PC, reach out to scan.co.uk, check out their 3XS builds. We could not recommend them enough. And uh, we're going to keep creating as much content as we can for you guys on this brand new editing flight sim rig here at Airliners Live HQ. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.